Cassandra again. Today I'm going to be showing you guys all the books that I received during the months of September, October, November, and December. They've been piling up there. Sorry for the angle change, but my tripod did fall and moving on. The month of September was pretty tame. Didn't really buy any books. Most of these were sent to me. But starting with the books that I bought myself is Cleopatra's Shadows by Emily Holman. This cover is so gorgeous. I just wish we could see more of her. I'm obsessed with anything that has to do with Egypt or Egyptian mythology. So of course I had to get this. I found this at the dollar store. It was a win-win. <laughs> Next up we have The Liar by Nora Roberts. And lastly, I bought some manga. I I am obsessed with these covers. You guys have probably already seen them on my 2018 wrap up video, but that is Magical Girl Apocalypse Volume 1 and Volume 2. Each cover has a different magical girl on it, and they are gorgeous. They are a horror manga, so it is not for everybody. It is gory, it is explicit. So definitely not for readers under 18. But the next two books I have were from Trades and that is an advanced reader copy of Unstoppable Moses by Tyler James Smith. This one came out September 2018 and then we have one that I am super super excited for and that is Flanka and Roja by Anna Marie McLemore. I'm pretty sure I've read one of her books when the moon was ours. It was sent to me for review and I loved it so much and I can't wait to read more from her. Such a beautiful cover, such a beautiful title. I mean Spanish words. I love it. But this came out last year in October. Next up I have a book that was sent to me by the author himself and that is Aru by David Meredith. This cover is so cool. I can't get over it but um I still haven't read this one so I don't know much about it but it does look pretty creepy and pretty awesome. And the last books that I got in September were sent to me by publishers. The first one is this amazing package. This package was sent to me by Little Bird Publicity but this is a finished copy of Season of Wonder by Rayanne Thane. They sent me an early copy of this but I think it's already out now. I don't know if you can see the glitter all over the trees and all over the branches. We can actually feel it as well. It says love is a four-legged word and that is super cute. I would have died if that had a bunny on it. <laughs> but for the next one is a book that I received from Storygram Book Tours and that is My Whole Truth by Misha Thrace. The first line in the back says I killed Shane Mayfield because I had to. Next up is a book sent to me by Wednesday Books and I am so excited it releases this month and that is White Stag by Barbara Barbaru? Barbary? Sorry I don't know how to say that. But this is the first book in a brutally stunning series where a young girl finds herself becoming more monster than human and must uncover dangerous truths about who she is and the place that has become her home. This sounds so awesome and I can't wait to read it soon. I am really trying to get on top of my reviewing game again. <laughs> It's so pretty, my goodness. The package it came in was so amazing. It came with a few stickers. Super excited for this. And next up, I have a book that was sent to me by Bloomsbury, and that is The Weight of a Thousand Feathers by Brian Conigan. This one comes out at the end of February. This follows a boy named Bobby who has to care for his little brother and for his terminally ill mother. And next up, I have a book that was sent to me by Amazon, and that is Just After Midnight by Katherine Ryan Hyde. This one came out in December of 2018 and I've never really heard about it so I don't know what it's about. But that was it for the month of September so now we move on to the month of October which is a bigger haul than September for sure. Oh that looks so empty because that was all of October. <laughs> but starting with the books that I bought in the month of October we have oof, this pile is insane <laughs> but we have another manga and that is Fairy Tale Volume 1. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm currently re-watching the entire fairy tale anime with my little sister and it's bringing back so many emotions. I love this anime so I'm pretty excited to finally read the manga. I have yet to watch the last season because I refuse. I want to say goodbye to this world. I'm gonna cry just. If you guys haven't watched this anime, I highly recommend it. So the next few are all dollar store finds. The first one being Untamed by S.C. Stevens. And then we have Gustav Gloom and the Nightmare Vault 
by Adam Troy Castro. This has a two on the spine, so I'm guessing it's the second book in the series. Ooh, it has illustrations before each chapter, so that's pretty cool. Can't wait to collect the rest of the series. Then I found Death of a Schoolgirl by Joanna Campbell Slan. It's a Jane Eyre Chronicles novel, and I just got it because it said death on the cover, to be honest. And then I found Deadfall by Anna Carey. Next up is an absolute cover buy, and that is Dark Asylum by E.S. Thompson. I'm gonna try. Yeah, there we go. That's, I think you guys can see that. So shiny, it's difficult to just, there we go. So foily. Look at those chains in the back. The spine looks so cool. The bag says, the lips had been darned close with six long black stitches. Clumsily executed, they gave the face a crude death's head appearance like a child's drawing scrawled upon a wall it sounds perfectly creepy and i'm pretty excited to recommend this to my book fiends book club and next i bought the lifeboat click by kathy parks and then i got the hollow chocolate bunnies of the apocalypse by robert rankin this just looked pretty cool and intriguing with that cover i had to get it. for the last books that i bought in october are to no surprise to anyone if you know who my favorite author is but okay the last books that i bought in october were <laughs> they just fell yeah i got five editions of kingdom of ash one of them is missing the dust jacket because it is displayed on my wall because it's the one with the poster inside the dust jacket i can't can't hold these without messing up my lighting so i'm just gonna leave them out of frame got the waterstone exclusive which comes with the fan art inside i want to say it's the books a million exclusive it's the one with the Manon fan art inside. It's almost exactly the same as the one before. This one is the Barnes and Noble edition, I think. It's the one with the exclusive materials on the back. This is the one that I undressed. And I got the Target exclusive and just a normal Kingdom of Ash non exclusive edition. This is the one that I tabbed. Those were all the books that I bought in October. So, next up, I'm going to show you the books that were sent to me. These next books were sent to me by the author herself, and that is Amy Cessary, Lilac Scully, and the Haunted House, and Lilac Scully, and The Carriage of Lost Souls, and Lilac Scully, and The Halloween moon this has to be my favorite one because roller coasters on the covers are my weakness but i have yet to read these and i hate myself for it because i really really want to get to them they look so beautiful together thank you so much amy for these copies i can't wait to get to them this year because i will get to them this year no matter what and then sent to me by i believe this is little bird publicity and that is the best of us by robin carr this this month january 8th and then i was sent more than bones by craig david sing this one came out this month as well and from little bird publicity we have bleak harbor by brian ruley and then it's bones by andrew cole this is four stories in one so i'm pretty sure this is going to be a quick read and from little bird publicity again we have blood echo by christopher rice this comes out in february and it's the sequel to bone music and little bird publicity again spoiling me with books we have the victory garden by riz bowen this one comes out in february and that cover is so beautiful I just want to dive into it but i think that'll hurt little bird publicity again we have snowfall on Lighthouse Lane by Joanne Ross and another book from Storyground Tours we have Home and Away by Candace Montgomery this one came out in October and from Epic Reads we have this kind of an epic love story by Corinne Callender this one came out in October as well and I'm so excited to read it and this is a book that I am so 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 sad I haven't gotten to yet but that is How She Died How I Lived by Mary Crockett. This came out in November of last year and it sounds so amazing. I won this off of Novels website. Lastly for the month of October is a book that I won from Stephanie Garber's giveaway and that is Grave Mercy by Robin Lafevers. Kidding that wasn't the last book from October. Completely missed 
this big old box that was sent to me by Wednesday Books. I am so excited. Oh, I was so excited to receive this in the mail, especially since I have read this book already and loved it. And I did already open this box, but we have a t-shirt that says Ray's Diner on it. And I believe it has something in the back. It says best apple pie in Garnet County, hashtag find Sadie. We have an LA postcard that says greetings from sunny Los Angeles. Wish you were here. In the back it says be my good girl, Matt. I believe you can see that. Next up we have a pamphlet that says Cold Creek, Colorado, the place that everyone wants to get away from. And it is a map. Came with this beautiful Wednesday Books bookmark. And it also came with these Polaroids. We have a row, a diner that matches my shirt, and this beautiful picture of lights. Which leads me to the book and that is Sadie by Courtney Summers. They sent me an advanced reader copy but they also sent me a finished copy and this one is signed. I'm so excited about that. I think you can see that switchblade there. I loved this book so thank you so much Wednesday Books for that. So now we can move on to the books that I bought in the month of November. I only bought three books in the month of November and that started with a quick little trip to the dollar store again. First book that I found was 20 trillion leagues under the Sea by Adam Roberts. I think this might be a non-fiction but I did get it because I'm obsessed with the sea. It does have illustrations. There's that one, I have that one. And then I found Love is a Canoe by Ben Shrink. I can't really read that. But that cover looks so cute so I can't wait to read this. And I found Local Girls by Carolyn Zonkan. The back says sometimes the first person to break your heart is your best friend. That sounds so sad. And the last book that I bought in the month of November. I should just call this my Sarah J Mass haul, seriously. I got the US collector's edition of Throne of Glass. I swear to god if they do a collector's edition of every book in the series I'm gonna be so broke because I will get those editions no matter what. I think we've all seen this. It comes with a bookmark. The back is so gorgeous as well as the front. I mean everything about this is gorgeous. Look at that. I love how shiny it is. Then we got the back. Ooh. I can't show you the pages because it's gonna throw off my lights again. Oh, look at those shiny end paper. And for the rest of the books that I have for November were sent to me. The first one we have is from Little Bird Publicity, and that is The Frame Up by Megan Scott Mullen. This looks so cool. I am so excited for this. It says panel by panel, crime by crime. By day she writes comic books, by night she lives them. And then from Amazon we have Hunt Them Down by Simon Gervais. Look at that naked hardcover. My goodness. And it's matte. It's so soft. You can actually like feel the waves. Tagline says they took his only child. He'll take their lives. That sounds intense. The next book I have was actually sent to me by my amazing friend Catherine and that is Witchcraft. This is an amazing book. I love it. Oh, it still has her letter in here. Look at that. That is so cute. It's all about spooky crafting. This is perfect. Next up, I have quite a few books that were sent to me by Candlewick Press. The first one is The Lost Coast by Amy Rose Capetta. This one comes out in May of this year. The tagline says, The spellbinding tale of six queer witches forging their own paths, shrouded in the mist, magic, and secrets of the ancient California redwoods. That sounds so amazing. I mean, witches and queer representation. I am all for this novel. And then we have Mother Tongue by Julie Mayhew. And this one comes out in August. Follows Daria, who is a young woman trying to recover her life after her younger sister is killed, along with many others in a brutal terrorist attack. Wow, this sounds intense. I'm gonna need to brace myself for this because it is giving me Sadie vibes and <laughs> I'm still not okay from Sadie. And then we have Curse of the Evil Librarian by Michelle Knudsen. It comes out in August. I have yet to read the other ones, so I'm excited to collect them so I can get to this one. And then we have such a beautiful book. It is Star World by Audrey Colthurst and Paula Garner. It says sometimes the person you need most is the one you expect least. This comes out in April. And then we have Summer of 69 by Todd Strasser. This one comes out in April as well. I need to fix that frame. Okay, I think we're good. Next up, I was sent How to Experience Death for Beginners by Jessica Branton. I think this is the first book I've received from them. It's Mindfuck Media. This one comes out in February. And then Penguin Teen sent me an advanced reader copy of Map of Days by 
around some rigs. In another book from Amazon, we have Debris Lane by Matthew Fitzsimmons from Smith Publicity. Living by Isaac Marion. This is the conclusion of the Warm Body series. And lastly, for November, we have another book I'm so excited that I own right now. Oh my goodness. This one comes out in March this year, and that is Ludley by Crystal Smith. This looks so good so good but it is a royal fantasy and i can't wait to get to it it was sent to me by hmh teen all right moving on to those last stack of books so for the summer i'm actually going to do it backwards i'm going to start with the books that were sent to me and then finish with the books that i bought because i bought more books than the ones that were sent to me book was sent to me by little bird publicity and that is girl most likely by max allen collins this one comes out in april follows the murder of a girl who was most likely to succeed i think the murder happened in the high school reunion these last two books i can't even believe that i have them in my hands right now james Patterson percent sent me once in future by amy rose capita and corey mccarthy this is a gender bend of king arthur and it is so exciting i can't wait to read this this one comes out in march and handle my excitement right now i can't even handle it i have wicked saints by emily a duncan coming out in April. It sounds so good. It's so beautiful. Can you see the foiling? That is so beautiful. The back says, something dark and holy has found its way into the hearts of everyone. I love this spine. Who is this? Does anybody know who that is? Because that's pretty cool. Because she's on the front as well. Is this another author? This was sent to me by Wednesday Books, by the way. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm getting super thirsty, so I'm gonna get through this as fast as I can. These are the books that I bought in the month of December. This next bunch of books were books that I found at the dollar store or at the 99 cent store. Those are my bookstores. So first up we have Jericho by Alex Gordon. I don't know what this is about but that cover intrigued me. And then we have Crave the Night by Lara Adrian. I have read some of the books in this series and I love them all. And then we have The Islanders by Catherine Applegate and Michael Grant. This is volume two. I decided to get it because I just, I love a good beach cover. I mean, who doesn't? And then we have The Virgin of Small Plains by Nancy Pickard. That cover looks awesome. And then we have The Lost Boy Symphony by Mark Andrew Ferguson. Another awesome cover. And I have The Master by Tara Sumi. I did not get that in Target. And then it's a book that I was so excited to find and that is Loving Dallas by Casey Quinn. It is a Neon Dreams novel. I'm trying to collect this series. So finding this was a super amazing surprise. And then I have Horde by Anne Aguirre. I want to say it in Spanish. Anne Aguirre. And this is book three in the Razorland trilogy. Another one I was pretty excited to find and that is Sisters of Blood and Spirit by Katie Cross. I feel like it's my video that's blurry but no it's the cover <laughs> and i have to across by jeff barch i'm going to be buddy reading this with the reader and the chef over on instagram so i'm pretty excited about that it looks so cute and then i have hold me closer by david levithan i didn't even know that this was a companion novel to will grayson will grayson which i have read and i kind of enjoyed the last two that i found at the dollar store were not novels this is lily vanilli and a zombie ate my cupcake these are cupcake recipes and they look creepily delicious. There's this one with fingers coming out of it. I can't wait to try these. I also got it because of the pictures. So, you know, for bookstagram, look at this one. I love it. I wish I could take pictures like this. Look at this. I love baking, so this is going to come in handy one day. Then I have one that I was pretty excited to find. That is the Students Manga Cookbook. Your favorite recipes made easier than ever with step-by-step -step manga instructions. A manga cookbook. Next up, I have two books that I found at Goodwill. That was The Stranger in the Woods by Michael Finkel. Then I found Freaks by Kieran Larwood. That cover looked awesome and I had to have it. Next two books were part of subscription boxes. I think this one came out in the Literary Crate, Once a King by Aaron Zamaro. I think it was the bookish box. And that is Amber and Dusk by Lyra Selene. And we are down to the last two books of this video. The next book that I bought is, surprise, surprise, the UK Collector's Edition of Throne of Pass. This one is the one without the slip and it looks a bit different than the US one. Meet the Assassin on the back. Super excited to have both of these editions in my collection. And lastly is Sockyo Girls by Claire Legrand. Got this just in time to read it for my book club. If you guys want to join us in reading this novel and talking about it at the end of the month, 
definitely get yourself a copy i am so excited to own this it's my second claire legrand book i have heard nothing but great things about it and i'm so excited oh my goodness okay i don't know how many books that was i'm gonna count it after this video but holy geez <laughs> that was a lot i'm super excited to finally have this cleared out but if you're still here thank you so much for staying and for watching this video in its entirety thank you so so much to everybody that sent me a book let me know if there are any that caught your eye or if there are any in this haul that you've already read i'm gonna go chug a gallon of water because i forgot to grab my water bottle and i'm dying again thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time